welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Amanda. I am a mom to two boys. They were both born in the summertime. I have a toddler and baby. So this summer, I have the honor of planning two birthday parties. The first one is for my three-year-old, and then the one in August is for my soon-to-be one-year-old. So I wanted to share with you guys all of the things that I'm gonna be using for my three-year-old's birthday party. He is a boy, and we're doing Lightning McQueen Cars theme because he loves the movie Cars. He's already had a Mickey birthday party and then also a Thomas the Train birthday party, and I've actually shared both of those here on my vlog channel, so I felt like it was only right if I just continued it every year and shared with you all of the things that are cars themed but really any of these items you can use for any themed birthday that's why I love them I plan on reusing a lot of the items for my son's first birthday party his birthday party is gonna be Mickey themed so I'll be sure to share all of those goodies with you once we get through the cars party then we will share all of the Mickey stuff so let's jump right in I want to show you all of the decorations all of of like the foods treats things like that that I'm gonna be using now I just want to say that we are going to be ordering a cake from Sam's Club they do have a cars cake so we're gonna order from them and then we're also gonna order a pizza from somewhere local and probably a chick-fil-a nugget tray too and then I like to get like a veggie tray and fruit tray from Costco and then as far as snacks, we'll have like chips, things like that, of course, and desserts. I always like to make a little bit extra besides the cake just to do like a fun little dessert table. But the point of this whole video is it doesn't have to cost you a ton of money to make a great birthday party and most importantly, a great experience for your child. They'll always have those memories of the balloons that you blew up. They might be from the Dollar Tree and not, you know, some fancy balloon maker coming to your house and if you have someone do it too that's fine of course but my point is that it doesn't have to cost a lot of money to make it special and memorable so let's jump right in i want to show you guys all of the goodies that i got for the third birthday party since the party is in the summertime our plans are to have the majority of it outside we ended up buying one of those like inflatable water parks for the kids because we looked into buying or renting out a bounce house and it was two to three hundred dollars just for three hours and we have two birthdays this year so that would be kind of a lot of money um we don't have like a ton of kids coming or anything like that it's just mostly family um so we thought why not buy our own off of amazon this way we can reuse it year after year and not have to you know fork out that two to three hundred dollars just for a couple of hours and then we can also use it other times too because we own it and our boys will absolutely love it so we got that for them and then we also picked up this giant pack of buncho balloons we've never tried this before um, but it was at our Costco. It was $20 for, let's see how many balloons, 420 water balloons. So I know for a fact our older son will love this and our younger son probably will too. Um, even the adults might join in on the fun. So we got a lot of bunch of balloons. Next up, I want to show you guys the pinata. I actually had to order this to New Jersey and have my mom pick it up and bring it down to Maryland. Um, it's just a Lightning McQueen one. I've been able to make pinatas sometimes, but Lightning McQueen was one I figured I couldn't make it. It was $19.99 at Party City, um, but they also had a $10 off anything coupon. So I went back for the Mickey pinata for my son Max and got his for $10. So I thought that was a great deal for a pinata. So we have the Cars pinata. And since it'll mostly just be toddlers and babies, I figured I didn't want to stuff it with like a ton of candy like I did in years past. I felt like it went to waste for us, honestly. Um, so I'd rather invest in things that I know the toddlers can eat. So I went on Amazon and ordered these lovely organic lollipops. I love to give like lower sugar lollipops to my son because he honestly doesn't need the extra sugar right now he's already active special treats here and there are fine but um i thought these ones sounded good so it comes with the grape one pomegranate strawberry and i think it's peach or mango flavored so a really good variety of lollipops i'm going to throw that into the pinata 
I also got a giant box of the Mott fruit, fruit gummies. This was off of Amazon too, but you can get them at Sam's or Costco has them. So I'm gonna put that into the pinata. That's 40 pouches. And then I went on Amazon. I was trying to think of like fun little trinkets I could put in the pinata other than food. And I came across this giant pack of bubbles. My kids love bubbles. So I feel like any kids that knock open this pinata are going to be, you know, happy with bubbles. So it came with 30 bubble wands. So that's something I plan on putting in the pinata too. And then I'm still kind of shopping. I have yet to get to the Dollar Tree um, specifically for the pinata and also the favor bags. So I'm gonna be doing that and seeing if there's anything else that I wanna add to the pinata. And then if we have any like extra leftovers, I'll just reuse them less than a month later for my son Max's party. Okay, next up I have a big box. My tip to you is if you have multiple children, multiple children and multiple parties to plan around the same time, just save one of your Amazon boxes and then put all of the supplies into that box and label it. And then you can store it in your basement, your attic, your closet, wherever, your garage. And that's what I do to keep the items separated. So this first item I found at the Dollar Tree, they're just little sticks that hold balloons. It came with four of them. So I guess they're pretty tall. It came with a lot of sticks, it looks like, eight sticks. Um, but I thought this would be fun just to decorate out front and have a couple balloons like up the walkway. So grab those for a dollar. Next I grabbed these little serving dishes also from the dollar store. I think they were new at my dollar store. Um, but I figure I'll put some kind of like candies in them or snacks, I'm not really sure yet. but wanted to grab those figured they were versatile for both parties and the good thing is both birthday parties have the same color scheme like red black white yellow so i'm able to reuse like any decorations that last from the first party to the second party i have like another candy dish this one i thought was so cute for display it was also from the dollar store i'm not sure what i'm gonna put in there maybe some kind of candy lollipops i don't know yet but thought that was really cute. One idea I had was to get pictures of both boys printed um, so I can show you. I feel like both of them together in a car and then I also printed this one that I made on actually the app that I use my I used to make my YouTube thumbnails I made this uh, picture so I figured I would take all these pictures and put them on like a string with clothes pins and just hang them somewhere where the party decor is I did this for Mason's first birthday party and it looked really cute and then I figured I could reuse the exact thing for Max's birthday party and just switch out that McQueen sign to a Mickey sign and it still has pictures of both of them and then I can just swap out any individual pictures per child. I think that's so cute because they did spend the last year of their life together. That was their first year together. So I thought that would be a cute idea, something anybody can do really inexpensively. Next up, I just have some treat bags. These were from Party City. It came with 25 red pouches. So I'm in the process of filling these up for goodie bags. And then also you can use them to pick up the treats from the pinata too. So I just went with red again for both birthdays. Next I have here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this for anything, but I really needed one of these like piping bag kits for cakes and double eggs and things like that. So I grabbed this. I forget where I got it, honestly. Maybe it was Walmart or a craft store. I don't know, I grabbed this a long time ago so I just threw it in the box just in case I needed it so I knew exactly where it was. So I have that handy. Next, I grab a three pack of red rectangle tablecloths. I like to get these at Walmart because you get a three pack for $2.98. Granted, at the Dollar Tree, it's a dollar for one, so only a couple cents difference. But it's just nice that it comes in a pack of three so i don't really have to think about it three and good to go i grabbed a big pack of red napkins after christmas actually from target on clearance um i guess they were just on clearance because they're red they even say like wonder shop on the back three dollars but i got them when they were 90 percent off so i knew for a fact somebody would be having red in their birthdays and it's a huge huge pack um it comes with 60 of them so we will be using the red napkins from christmas 
I grabbed these plates at the Dollar Tree. They have a monster truck on them. They're not necessarily cars, but I thought that since it had a red truck, it would be totally fine and I could just improvise with these for maybe like dessert plates or something like that. We're gonna be using China plates for dinner. We have a big, big pack from Costco. I got this red cookie icing. This was on sale. I forget what from. I think this was from Target, maybe um, from their Memorial Day section or Easter section or something like that. It was super clearance. So I figured in case I need to do like any red icing on treats, I'd have that handy for both birthdays again. It doesn't expire till I think it says 2023. So this is good for a long time. I grabbed these red vanilla wafer, I'm not sure what they are called, like little, they're not chocolates, but they're vanilla chocolate, um, to do chocolate dipped Oreos for the party. I eat gluten free, so I won't be eating the cake, I will eat the icing off of it, but I ended up getting gluten free Oreos to dip them in, so that way I could eat a little treat too, and whoever of course wants to eat them can. And I'll just melt the chocolate, dip the Oreos in, and then put some sprinkles on. And they look really cute and festive on a table. I do that pretty much for any like event or birthday. I just think it looks super nice and it looks something like high end. But you did it yourself on a budget. So I love to do that. Next up, I found this picture. It was Thank You For Coming, Lightning McQueen. And I had it printed out on stickers. Um... I just put like the text in the picture there and I had the stickers printed out from Shutterfly. So that's another tip is to get like little stickers and custom things um, printed from Shutterfly or Etsy and then you can stick them on things that you've purchased yourself and it looks like something like expensive and nice and goes with your theme but really again you didn't spend that much on it and you did it yourself so I love to do like little lollipops so that's exactly what I got I got a box of lollipops from Oriental Trading just a big big pack of like swirly pops and I'm gonna be putting these thank you for coming stickers on it sticking them like in a little jar and that way if any adults want a favor too they can take them or kids whomever I think they look super cute and it's just like a nice takeaway from the party here is another fun DIY I always do these too um, I just find like pictures online of whatever the theme is print them out I cut them out and put them on little like bamboo skewers or toothpicks and then I have a bunch of picks like ready to put in food or treats I just get all types of things like as you can see here I'll try and show it to you this one has like Mater and McQueen so just love to DIY little things like that just to add more to the theme than like the dollar store would have the dollar store doesn't have lightning mcqueen where i live so i just have to add my own touches to the items that i get from the dollar tree or walmart so that is something that i just diy okay this is a random after christmas find um it's just a bag of like dinosaur erasers that i got super cheap clearance and i just plan on putting them into the goodie bags with other things of course so that was thrown in here just so i didn't forget to use them Something I think that makes a party so special is having a big backdrop behind your cake table. So you can get backdrops really inexpensively off of Amazon. That's where I always tend to get mine or Party City. They usually range between, I found six and $10. I've done it for a few years now and that's generally the price range. This one was the most that I've ever paid for a backdrop and it was $9.99. Um, so it's all folded up here, but it's a big like race car backdrop with Lightning McQueen in it. This one I think is fabric actually. So maybe that's why it was $9.99. But the plastic ones are usually like six or seven dollars and they make such an impact on the party it's just like the perfect spot to put your cake and then you can stand behind your cake and then have that backdrop and it just really brings the theme of your party to life i feel like everybody knows what your theme is and it just adds so much for such little effort and little cost. So definitely recommend a backdrop if you are doing a theme like I do. I think they make such a big impact and they look so nice. 
The next thing I have is this letter board. This is just a reused item I have from Aldi. I just put on it, it says Kachow, Mason is three. Kachow is the saying that Lightning McQueen always says in all of his movies. So yeah, just put that on there. I figured I would put that on the cake table. I did that last year. Um, last year it said Choo Choo, Mason is two for his Thomas the Train theme. So we have that. And then I'll change it out for Max's birthday too. I'll put something like, Welcome to Max's Clubhouse or something Mickey related. I got this kit um, from Party City. They had a very small section of cars. It's just like a little tabletop set. This was $6.99 and I used one of their 20% um, off coupons on it. So I'm just gonna set these out on the table again just to help bring that theme to life because I don't have too many cars items per se. But I think like subtle things like this will help people get the hint that it is cars themed. And Mason, of course, will love to see it. That is most important that he loves his party and has a great time and great memories. So I know he will enjoy seeing this on our table. Next up, I got these race car flag picks. These were from Hobby Lobby for 99 cents for eight of them. I was going to get the ones on Amazon. I think they were $6 or $7 maybe for a small pack. And I just happened to go to Hobby Lobby. You guys saw my last vlog and they had them for 99 cents. So I thought these are perfect. I might stick them. I'm going to do a balloon garland, which I'll show you in a second. I might stick them in the balloon garland or just like in different snacks on the table, on the cake table, little places like that. So we have the race car flags, perfect for a Disney cars party. And then lastly, my favorite DIY on a budget to do is balloon garland. It is all the rage now. It started getting popular when I did Mason's first birthday party and now there's so many like tips and tricks to get the perfect arch and garland and things. Back then I just had to do it by string because they didn't have that special tape on Amazon you guys might know about. But I just got a ton of red and black balloons from the dollar store and Walmart. They're both $1.99 for packs like these. So I have a ton of those. And again, whatever I don't use, I'm going to reuse for Max's party because they're the same colors. I did get some metallic balloons this time though, like a red metallic just to bring in um, some sheen and shine to the balloon arch. And I did pick up one pack of cars specific balloons just to like intertwine into the garland. Um, let me see if I have the rope in here. I don't have the tape in the bag, but what it is, it's like a special piece of like clear plastic and it has holes through it that you put the tied balloons through and it helps you to make like a really nice garland or arch, whatever you're doing. Um, you can get those on Amazon for like $4 for a big pack of them. So I always like to get that now and do my balloon garlands that way and not stress myself out using the string and wondering if it's gonna be perfect or flow nicely. I just get the tape and it's good to go. So I have a ton of balloons. I'm gonna be DIYing the garland right above the um, backdrop that I showed you. So that's gonna make a really nice scene for the cake and cake table. And Mason loves balloons, so I know when he sees it, he's gonna go super crazy, like happy crazy. Um, so I can't wait to put that together for him so he can have it in the house for a couple days during his birthday week and just enjoy looking at it. I also wanted to show you guys something that I picked up because I know it's gonna be useful for many, many years. Um, but I picked up this balloon electric pump off of Amazon. I always blew the balloons up by, you know, myself. And last year I did it when I was eight months pregnant. I almost passed out blowing up all the balloons for the balloon arch. So I thought, you know what, this year I'm doing two parties, two balloon arches, and probably every year after that. So why not invest in a electric balloon pump? It was $21.99 on Amazon. It'll definitely get its use. We're eventually gonna have a baptism for Max too, so if I wanna do any balloons for that, I could use it. Anyone's birthday, really, so good to go for that. And like I said, I'm still working on the party favors. I plan on having like parent approved treats in them and just like fun little trinkets and things like that depending how many kids come um 
that's gonna depend like what I get for the treat baskets and the little goodie bags so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and it gave you some ideas on how you can put together a really nice party on a budget for your child the most important thing is that they have fun it doesn't have to be Instagram perfect it doesn't have to be a theme you know that somebody says you should have or that you want just make it about your child that's what they're gonna remember they're gonna remember that mommy and daddy or whomever put together this party for me and it was everything that i loved it was mickey mouse it was cars it was unicorns mermaids whatever it may be um just make it about your child because that day is truly about them and it's supposed to be special and memorable and don't forget to have people take pictures so you can print them out and save them for your child later on that is one thing that i try and do is take pictures to make like a little album for my kids for their birthdays so if you did enjoy this haul give this video a thumbs up and i'll be sure to show you guys when the party comes to life and then i also planning on i'm planning on doing a mickey birthday haul too because i know a lot of people do mickey birthdays so hopefully i'm able to give you some ideas for that too but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next vlog